Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, or the Meerkat Nation, should I say. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are in the pre-sequel, Borderlands, the pre-sequel. I was like, okay, I think I'm done with Borderlands 2 for the most part. So, I'm starting the pre-sequel uh, this, uh, this Monday. Yeah, there was still some side quests to do in there, and I was like, eh. I think I'm, I'm ready to move on. If everybody wants to see the rest of that, like all the side quests in that game, then they can play it themselves. So I don't spoil 100% of the game. Well, most of it. But I am here in the, uh, the pre-sequel here. And uh, if you probably noticed before I get started here is that I've been missing for a week. I haven't uploaded for a week. It's because my uh, wife, she bought me a new desk. And it's a very big desk compared to my last desk which was a $20 cheapie from Walmart and uh, because it was a $20 cheapie it was tiny very small and made out of that uh, what is it like particle board or something it was yeah it's not the best but the desk we got got it for $12.50 and it's all wood real wood desk and it's big so that's why I haven't been on for a week, so if you guys were wondering, the Meerkat Nation, so thanks for your patience and your understanding that I've been not been around for a while, but I had to reset up my desk, reset up my room for the uh, recording and everything else, my computer and all that stuff. <clears throat> Alright guys, so, as you know, that there is going to be copyrighted music when I start a new game. There was going to be a cinematic section in the game that I will have to mute. I'll keep the video of the uh, cinematic section, but I will mute the music. Just a uh, fair warning to you guys. I've done that for Borderlands 1 and 2, so. Alright. I think I'm going to play Jack, the doppelganger, is because he has some funny dialogue with the other Jack, Handsome Jack, the real Handsome Jack. Alright. Here we go. Got some explaining to do, Tiger. Trained from childhood as an Atlas assassin with over a thousand successful jobs to your name. Damn near killed my two best men before they brought you in. She said we're her best men. That makes me feel good. Ow. Here's how it is, Athena. I'm gonna ask you a single question. And if I don't like your answer, you will die. Aim at the prisoner. Now, I will ask you this only once. Why? That is a long story. After the fall of General Knox, I wandered Pandora as a hired gun. One day, I received a job offer from a low-level Hyperion programmer. Come to the moon, it said. Hunt a vault, be a hero. I didn't trust Hyperion, but I was too hungry to pass up a paying job. And what did you find? Violence, insanity, and a hero.
Yeah, they, um, that's why I'm choosing Handsome Jack is because there's some funny dialogue parts throughout the entire campaign. So if you guys were wondering, I thought about playing as Athena because that's the only character I play, barely played as. And I'm not playing as Claptrap. <laughs> Claptrap is a pain in the butt to play in this game because his uh, uh, special is like randomized and it sometimes kills you. Actually, a lot. I like playing Wilhelm. That's one of my favorite characters because he's got the two bots. <clears throat> I was thinking about playing Athena because it's the only character I haven't really played with that much besides the Baroness, which is a DLC character. Yeah, Athena came from um, Borderlands 1, the uh, ha uh, the secret army of G General Knox, or armory of General Knox. And, uh, oh, that's funny. Yeah, he has some funny uh, specials, but they... It, he's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> if the Lost Legion hadn't ambushed Helio Station, everything might have gone a different way. But yeah, the Athena comes from the Borderlands 1 DLC, the General Knox DLC, and, uh, what was it? They caught her because she, after the General Knox went down, she helped out, of course, Handsome Jack and Hyperion. She, uh, this woman right here, she was the, um, became Handsome Jack's wife, I think, and she runs the, uh, that border town in Borderlands 2 that, um, I can't remember what it's named, Lynchwood. So she, yeah, she runs Lynchwood. And you, go, you do get to take her out in one of the side quests in Borderlands 2. Alright, here we go. That's Athena. I was thinking about playing as uh, the doppelganger. Good looks incoming. Because he has a lot of funny dialogue with, of course, Handsome Jack. Because he is Handsome Jack. <laughs> Step right up to the sequence of trapping. Sad. High noon. I like playing as Wilhelm because he has these little bots that basically stay out and shoot at everything for you. Oh, yes, I can pay the bill. The Bronus is, uh, she is from, um, uh, she's the sister of, uh, ooh, what's his name? Uh, I can't think of it for some reason. For some reason, I can't think of the, uh, that guy's name. Good luck's incoming. Hammerlock. There you go. Finally. My head was like, finally works. <laughs> but yeah, that's the sister of Hammerlock. Trick or cry. Let's see what kind of skin we want here for the doppelganger. For a second there, when I downloaded, when I installed this game again, I, did, I thought I did not have the, um, the uh, DLCs, I was like, oh, this is not good. I think we'll just stick with the regular Jack for now. Alright, here we go, guys. You ready? <clears throat> Hello, Vault Hunter, and thank you for answering Hyperion's summons. Unfortunately, the Helio Space Station is currently under attack by insane Dome military forces. Please, take this Echo device. Now, follow me. I can take you to your contractor liaison. You have been rewarded. Randy could have used some work, but A for effort. You have been rewarded with one item as a loyalty item. Sorry about the mess. Things got really hairy Move with stones. the Legion attack. Okay, game. What did I get? Loyalty item? You have a su su successfully unlocked the abandoned training facility. Look for its entrance in the Outlands Canyon. Okay. Ah, sees the loyalty items? Hmm. Yeah, I'll take these compared to the starting weapons. This one's 97. Well, look at that. 
Oh, I was like, whoa, this one's 90-something. That's 97.7. I thought this one had 97.7. I was like, that's for a shotgun? What? I'll listen to this tape later on because these, uh, I don't want to be o overshadowed by the in-game talking, so seven times the fun. Well, it's six times seven. It's got the vault symbol on there. It's kind of cool. I have I, I I know less about this game than the other games because it's the one I least played. It's not everybody's favorite, but it has some good stuff in it, I guess. All right, let's go. And I recommend opening up these boxes because you don't start with a lot of uh, ammo at the beginning. I gotta get used to my new mouse. I got my. I got a new mouse and it's a little bit different. I know how to hold E to collect all items. We gotta get the jet. I know, man. It was in this game is when you, uh, when Handsome Jack pretty much destroys most of all the clap traps. Open for me, Odor. Let's try out this shotgun. This mission has an area waypoint. Area way, uh, the area waypoints give you a uh, general no location of the objective, but you must search the area to find it. Save you. Oh, I gotta get used to this new mouse and this new desk. So I might play a little bit funky for a while until I get used to everything. I bought this mouse a while back. And I just been holding on to it until I got a new desk. Wow, that's not very accurate, is it? There it is. He loves you? Ha! If only, man. If only. Hehe. <laughs> funny that you see the robots in that state when you co compare it to the second game you're like most of the enemies in that game are robots from Hyperion then you're looking at the robots on Hyperion they're all cowering and stuff this is before Handsome Jack makes an army with them for the second game of course He deserves it. <laughs> Attention, Hyperion. Your Helio space station now belongs to the Lost Legion. Surrender before it is too late. You have to be pretty close range for this uh, hand cannon because it's kind of like a shotgun. You now have a grenade. Throw a grenade with G. Yes, yes, we know. Ah, <laughs> that was the slowest, like, slow-mo grenade. 
Hey, a green item. Ow. And down I go. Already. Because of that guy right there. He's too tough for me. Got him. Wow, that missed completely. Can I help him up? Nah. Or, uh, you, you wanna wait? You're busy? That, that's cool. I'll just bleed over here internally for a while. Here, it's a super fun way to pass the time, but yeah, yeah, don't mind me. Just the guy who hired ya. Sorry, am I being passive-aggressive? My bad. That must be a symptom of almost dying. But no, no, I'm, I'm sure you've got a lot of important stuff to do. I'll just sit over here until the internal organs are rupturing. I'll make a day of it. Dude, seriously, I'm scared. Please don't die. I'll save you. Oh. Just leveled up. Yay. Crap, you saved my life. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Heart's bounding. Never been shot at before. Kind of fun, actually. Look, these crazy bastards attacked Helio Station right after I sent for you guys. If we can drive them off, we'll be free to go after that vault on the moon's surface. Alright, in this game is... If you remember in the second game, Handsome Jack wears a mask. And you get to pick up that mask after you take out the warrior. And, uh take out Jack of course but the um, there's a reason why he's wearing a mask and that is explained in this game and I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't seen or played this game before so I'm just going to leave it there and if you want to know the story of why Jack wears a mask then you'll have to watch this let's play right right <laughs> Even though I barely played it. I don't there's a lot of this game I don't even remember, actually, to be honest. I haven't played it in a long time, like all the way through. I played the second game and the first game. Get to your employer. You found Jack and you saved him. Now for extra credit. Save Helios from the invasion. And I get right, a looks crappy like you got a shield. shield. Pretty self-explanatory, really. It'll eat bullets until it depletes. When it does, you gotta hide and give it time to recharge. Hey, just let me activate the defense controls. A few seconds, we'll have turrets, force fields, laser wires. <laughs> These assholes won't know what hit them. You now have a shield. Damage inflicted upon you will first be removed from the shield. If your shield goes down, it will recharge after a short time. Be on the lookout for stronger shields with special abilities. Yep. This way. Escape we ships. Take this ground. Hey, other Jack. Who is that woman? I don't know. She leads these jackasses, I think. I don't know, but the first person to shoot her in the head gets a high five in the Turbo Mansion. Turbo Mansion? Alright, let me get this door. The escape ships are nearby. I'll take a Turbo Mansion. You go first. <laughs> he runs funny. Look at that. It's a jack. Oh, son of a Dane. Hey, it's that Colonel! Execute plan to shoot that chick in the head! Hello, Jack.
perfect. She destroyed the ships. We gotta find another way out the station. What the hell was that? I didn't sign up for this. Uh, no idea, but I get the feeling it could kill us with its brain, so, you know, uh, <laughs> keep running. Jack, what the hell is going on? I'm getting reports of alarms all across Helios. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Everything's fine. Just, uh, one of the class trap units tried to prevent the light socket, sir. Need I remind you that you are there to observe Pandora? Nothing more. If you incur any damages to the Helios space station, I will personally... Ah, oh, sorry, sir. We're losing connection. I... Uh, sorry. Yes. What? I called you an asshole because I thought I'd hung up. His arms went stiff. My bad. We will speak again, John. There's Elpis. That friggin' jamming signal is somewhere down on that cracked rock messing up all the cool security stuff up here. Go get him, Vault Hunters! Son of a taint! Then why the hell are you attacking us, you dick? I want this station, and I want to save the universe. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Hyperion security has been So weak. I don't think that pistol does me does me any any good. <laughs> I would say that pistol is not that great. There's a chest down here underneath the uh, platform. Not a very good one, but there is one. Bunch of pistols. Take that one. Eh. Eh. You have plugged explosive weapon. Torque! My torque voice is not that great. BA rank is. What is my BA rank? Eh, 48. 4808. Got 12 tokens. There's a reason that I can't remember what it was, but there's a, there's like a, I think you have to be over a thousand BA rank and you can get a special weapon called the Excalibur, which is like a, the Sword in the Stone reference later on. I know it's kind of a spoiler talking about it at the beginning here. Might have to hit the shop up real here, real quick. $118. Nope, don't need nothing. Alright, let's go. Okay, well, I've got a stupid idea. We're gonna head to that moonshot cannon. Follow me. Um, what is this moonshot thing we're headed for again? Basically a huge gun that shoots supplies down to the moon's surface like at about a thousand miles an hour. We're gonna get in one of those containers and escape that way. And that's, uh, survivable, is it? I don't know. Be a pretty cool way to die, though, huh? Nah. They're at the moonshot cannon. Move in. You have earned a skill point. Yep. This is where you get the digi jacks. Action skill. Press F to summon two digi jacks. To fight and die for you. Digijacks lose health constantly until they die. When a Digijack dies, a new one will be summoned near you. Press and hold F to end expandable assets early and gain it. A reduction to your cooldown. Boom. You have now, I have an action skill. I press F for your action skill. Yep, yep, yep. Not right now, I'm not. Got it. <laughs> Have a nade. <laughs> you have no idea why these doll guys wanted Jack dead. I had suspicions. Money. 
me. Revenge. That's it. Whoever needed a reason out here. There's another chest right there. Just gotta go around. Wow, this one, this chest tells me the uh, rarity scale, while the other chest didn't matter. What? Take this stuff over forty dollars, I guess, for now. And boss fight. This boss fight, I've never got his legendary before, ever. I've never gotten it the several times I've played this game. I do believe he has a legendary, but I've never gotten it, so don't even know what it is. I think it is flame based. I think it's an assault rifle. I can see that, man. I can see that. I'm out of nades, no. Never got this guy's legendary. Yeah, our story just began with us getting off a bus. This sounds all explosive and stuff. Stop complimenting the prisoner. <laughs> They're jealous that they uh, this sto story that Elevator. these characters went through was a little bit more exciting. They just got off a bus <laughs> in the first game. But they, uh, what made this this game a problem is that this boss is unfarmable. You can't just come back and farm this guy ever again. Not unless they made a way to do so, but I don't think they did. Yeah, that's the big problem with this game. Though They've made a lot of the bosses, or boss encounters, a one-time thing. For a looter shooter, it doesn't make any sense. You can get in the moonshot up there. Let me get the elevator. Something's jamming the elevator up there. Gotta figure something out. All right, weird idea. Uh, let me work the loading terminal. Ooh, watch your step. That'll be a hell of a fall. Uh, this might be a problem. Right, because I got a new shot cylinder right up. up. They were talking over each other. This, this is a pretty big bullet. Hold on, I'm gonna spin the cylinder. Make it up there. Free up the elevator so I can join you. Nah. What if we leave him down there for for good? No wonder Dahl took us over so easily. I need more soldiers. Badasses. Like you. Are you coming? Woo! We made it! Right, we just gotta get into a moonshot container. Freedom Hype! My shield is out of action! You got lucky! Someone's got to stay back and launch the pods manually. I'd suggest my body double, but he's way too hot to die. Getting uncomfortable. All <laughs> right, new plan. I'll stay behind. 
I need you down on the moon. You gotta find that jamming signal and shut it down. Otherwise, we'll never get control of the moon base and we can kiss that vault goodbye. You're, you're gonna stay and die? Shouldn't we switch places or something? Nah, you saved my life a couple of times. I'm repaying the favor. Besides, I'm a hero, baby. Self-sacrifice is part of the job. Oh, good, a health machine. I had one put in here after a worker had an accident and uh, lost his torso. Better heal up before your trip down to the moon. <laughs> Might want to grab some ammo, too. Supplies over here. We need to get a moonshot container up here. Normally, we'd load some supplies, but this time, you're the cargo. Yep, you remember in the second game that the Hyperion moon base was shooting stuff on the planet to deliver robots and whatnot. Well, you're about to go through that same experience in this game. You get to be shot out of the moonshot cannon. There's no button right here. You're telling me Jack, handsome Jack, the guy who murdered my boyfriend, stayed behind while you escaped? Like hell. Whether his decision was heroic or purely strategic, I can't say. But if Jack hadn't stayed behind to eject the pod, I might well have died on Helios. <laughs> Those stories making handsome Jack kind of sympathetic. I hate it. All right, we're ready to fire. Whenever you're ready, I'll shoot you to Concordia. It's the biggest town on Elpis. I know someone there who can help you find that jamming signal. But when you land on Elpis, there's a button right here. But there's no button. Whoa. We have some frame rate problems here. Reminds me of Babylon 5. There was a show back in the early 90s called Babylon 5. The new mechanic in this game is that you have no, uh, you have to have like some kind of helmet to allow you to breathe, and there's low gravity. Yep, Matt. I don't want to go into Echo Device. Come on, man. I'm faster than you, Janie. This way. Don't think about the great sea. You see these things down here. These will give you an oxygen bubble. And then you just have a bubble. And then there's little like, see that on the little mini map there's like these little diamond shaped things that you can see. 
those uh, on the little mini map in the corner up there, those are uh, these right here. They're oxygen sources. They're not like this thing here. You'll see an O2 thing for these machines. They give you the bubble. And then these will give you oxygen. It's like a little vent that's uh, in the ground. And they're all over the place, so. Always keep an eye out for them if, if your oxygen's getting low. Nearly there. It'd be embarrassing if you died now. Why'd you even jump up there to begin with? Could have just ran straight through. What the? Um. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Everybody good? Nice to meet ya. I'm Janie Springs, junk dealer. Who are you? The name's Jack, babe. Well, nice to meet you, Jack. So what are you doing here? There's a jamming signal somewhere around here. Need to shut that down and head back to Helio Station. A jamming signal? Haven't noticed anything like that. You might want to get to Concordia, a little city run by a fella called the Merit. Got to be somebody there who can help you. You'll need an O2 kit, Oz kits we call them, to survive the journey though. I've got some broken ones stashed nearby, but I can repair them for you. Even if you ain't the breathing type, you'll be glad you've got an Oz kit. Head to these coordinates and clear the place out. Alright, yep, that's what they call them, Oz kits. Basically a space helmet kind of thing. It's what she was wearing when she was running through here. Or on the way here. I'll probably make this an hour long video. Or when I find a good stopping point. Alright. Nina, Nina help. So you don't have um uh Dr. Z, you have Nina in uh this game. Wonder where Nina even goes. Does she stay on Elpis forever? I'll just go ahead and sell all this junk. I still need to listen to that, but I'm trying to get to a point where it's not a lot of talking happening. Can't use this yet. This is your moon zoomy or your vehicle station. This gun right here is very inaccurate. It's a lot more inaccurate than I was expecting it to be. And those little diamonds you saw in the little mini map that I showed earlier are these right here. They're vents, and if you stand on them, you get air. Those are rocks. Basically, uh, there's these living creatures in this game that, uh, that's, a, that's basically their poop. Making it, trying to make it here, but I'm about to re run into the craggles or crags, whatever you call them. There they are, the craggins. I still remember that somehow. I gotta figure out what the crouch button is. Because the crouch button is very important in this game. Ow, man. It takes you so long to go down. But yeah, the crouch button, I think it's C. Yeah, it's C. I think I'd rather have it as um, control. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I might have to switch that over in between episodes. Because I think I'd rather have control as crouch. Because crouch in this game is important when you get an Oz kit. That building used to be in one piece and not lava adjacent. Till the crackening, anyway. If I remember correctly, there's something up top. So I'm going to try to make it up there. First, I want to break this open. Get some extra junk. As you see, there's low gravity. All right, yeah, there's a few boxes here, but you gotta be careful when you're in the, uh, with, if I wasn't in this bubble, everything you open, it just flies out. It doesn't just stay in one place. Oh, there's a bolt symbol up here. 
don't think there's anything else though. No. All right, here we go. Let's go. Ah, oh, I forgot I locked it. Whoops! Just punch off the locks with your meat hunks. That's moon for hands. Meat hunks. <laughs> he punches weird too, Jack. Or the doppelganger. Come on, Kragans, if I remember. Not excited about being mauled again. They're dead. One Ozkit. Great for breathing, double jumping, and slamming enemies. Now, if you pay me for saving your life, you're gonna end someone else's. His name's Deadlift. He's nearby and he's an asshole. He's also got something I'll need to get us into Concordia. You cleared the place out? I'm coming down. Just bring the broken Ozkit to me and I'll repair it for you. Yeah, there's a chest right there. I'm waiting for Janie to come get over here really slowly, like. Get air. Well, that was a fun ride. Let's never do it again. Ever. Maybe. <laughs> Deadlift leads a band of scavengers, scavs, who used to raid the old Dahl dig site. Colonel Zarpadon imprisoned them, but they escaped when Dahl's digging cracked the moon. I I'm sorry, Zarpadon? Anyway, he's got the Digistract key for my Zoomy stations. Killing him will get you to Concordia and make my week. Win-win! I smell something burning. It's not your brain. It was my brain. You have uh, obtained an Oz kit. It provides a supply of O2, which drains in a vacuum and recharges an atmosphere. While off the ground, press spacebar to boost. Burning O2 to glide and maneuver. Tap C to quickly return to the ground. Hold C to slam to the ground, causing an impact shockwave around you. Oh, I just got myself a level up here. Got one point. Let's say you deal increased down damage against enemies who are below 40% health. If you have not damaged the enemy previously and the enemy is under 40% health, you deal even more gun damage. Whenever a Digijack dies, you gain a stack of Collaborate. You gain your, uh, and your Digijack still increase damage for every stack of Collaborate you have. All stacks of Collaborate are lost when expendable assets ends. Hmm. Increase the max health of you and your Digijacks. Additionally, the longer a Digijack is alive, the more damage it does. Ooh. While expendable assets is active, killing an enemy extends its duration. The skill has diminishing returns. That's not, I don't like diminishing returns. Increase weapon swap speed, that would be kind of cool. Swapping weapons increases fire rate for a short time. Each stack lasts 10 seconds and all stacks are lost if you do not swap weapons within 10 seconds of activation. I might go with this one to start with, of course. Bam. But before I go and talk to old Janie, I'm going to jump over here and slam. Ah, oh. bleh. I can, I can do a challenge. I mean, yeah, go me. Woo! You, you don't really have a double jump in this game, as you see here. The uh, the Oz kit. Yeah, uh, down there you have a gray number. It says O2, and it has a hundred percent. You find better ones as you go. As you see here, you can glide, and then, which I what I like to do when it comes to these cragging things. Jump up and then slam. I was gonna get the side quest she had, but the best way to take out these kragans is just slam on them, especially the little ones, the pebbles or the fuses. Why is these kragans not attacking Janie? All right. Let's go get some side quests. Oh, she doesn't have the side quest missions. Did I mess up? Or does she get them back when she heads back to her base? Because she had a exclamation point above her head over there. Oh, she does still on the mini-map. Deadlift is the next boss, but there is, like I said, a side quest to do. And I think that one of the side quests she gives you is a better O2 kit or Oz kit. Attention, atmosphere detected. 
compared to the one I got already, which is a basic white one. Does do increased gun damage while in the vacuum. Come on, you can hurry up. I'm as dry as a. Well, I'm pretty dry. Shoot for the moon or something. And tales from Elpis. Springs may have a hidden talent for entertaining small children. Emphasis on the word may. I need you to help me. You can now work on more than one mission at a time. Missions can be marked as active, and your uh, and your HUD will display the waypoints for your active mission. You can change your active mission in the mission log section of your Echo device. Press Tab to access your Echo Echo device. Then highlight the mission you want to activate and press Enter or the uh, left mouse button. Or not, it's not letting me. I'm gonna go after this one because it gives me the next Oscar. Um, what? Did my accent throw you off? I meant to say, I need y'all to help me fix up some inspirational posters, y'all. Donuts, cowboys, homophobia. They sell like hotcakes on the black market, and I've already run out of kitten posters. Head to one of my jump pads. Kitten posters. Pick up some extra air here real quick. So we get started. And here we go. Cameras at the apex of your jump. I just need you to get airborne and say something inspirational. Um. Sorry. Say something inspirational, y'all. No, I'm not just. <sighs> All right. Cool. This time, I'll throw up a couple of targets. Try to shoot them before you land, and we'll make for an even better poster. And say something inspirational again. <laughs> Inspirational. Oh, again. Oh, God, I'm seriously scared of heights. <laughs> good, good. Now, big finale time. Get into the air, then slam down on that pressure pad by crouching. Then say something cool and look as badass as possible. I want to go home. <laughs> Turn on the printer and it should spit out your posters. Right in. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect glide. Alright. Why don't we just make up a word that rhymes with orange? Orange. Be true, be true to whatever. This is not my pictures. Who's these, who's these pictures? These aren't mine. Why are you banging on that? Help Springs make uh, motivational posters. That is beautiful. There's no film in the cameras. Just kidding. Joke. Don't freak out. Alright, increase gun damage while burn, reduce O2 cost of air boosting. 119 or 155 and 402, but O2 canisters now heal you as well as restore O2. Hmm. I might do this one. Having an extra healing ability would be pretty nice. You do the thing, you get the reward. Is this unclear for you? Wow. Mean enough? Deadlift, that guy I asked you to kill, just ordered a bunch of inspirational posters. Head to his ship and put them up everywhere. Here, take the posters and the delivery confirmation. And you're just walking around with it. I need you to get that delivery confirmation signed before you put the posters up. But that's towards the boss, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one right here. Hey. Bored one day and started writing children's books, but I lost them. Can you find them for me? 
You could totes give me some feedback too. I guess. <clears throat> but now I got a better O2 kit. I need it. I should have sold the other one and that junky white guns I picked up. Oh well. And in this game, uh, in the second game, you had Iridium to upgrade your weapons or your uh, carrying capacity of everything, ammo, whatnot. In this game, it's Moonstones, which I got some for free, and I can't remember how many. I got 30 of them. This is basically the equivalent to Iridium in the first game, or the second game. First game, you had to help out clap traps to get upgrades, and you bought them from the shop. Wee. That's what I'm after right there. Okay. Air reserves. That gives you air, but not very much because it launches you up. And you have to go all the way up here. Grab. Nope. Then grab. Even though I pushed E. It was like, nope. Once upon a time, there was this moon. Then some military dudes came and started mining. They delved all deep and greedy and crap. Moon cracked open, people died, no one lived happily ever after. Finn, what do you think? It was... nice. I'll take it under advisement. It was. <laughs> I think there might be another one in my old camp. It got overrun by kragans, killed my... They killed her. You mean your mother? Jump up, slam! All three of them dead. All at once. Best way to get rid of the Kragans. There once was a Kragan named Flamey, who jumped out of the crack and bit Janie. She blew off its face, now there's no trace of the Kragan who dared such cockamamie. Well, uh, not, not bad as far as limericks about death go. Fair now, good feedback. Oh, that reminds me though. Flamey's son owes me a life and he's still out there. Track him down and get it for me, yeah? Flamey. That scrote sack got big. Kill it. <laughs> Always get rid of the small ones with slams. Not unless your oxygen is low. Hey, something over a hundred dollars. Expansive spinning gun. Nice. Baby Kragen goes on an adventure. Baby Kragen crawled out of the crack with his mum, Flamey. They saw strange two-legged creatures and thought, they must be food. So Baby Kragen and his mum raided the camp. Flamey tore a two-legger up pretty bad, and Baby Kragen killed another one. Then Baby Kragen ran away like a little stupid piece of shit. That one must be corrupted or something, I don't know. Bring those back while I write another one about how you killed an evil fire monster. Nice. Make me sound cool. Hmm. Yep, we got floating rock. A whole bunch of them, actually. So, like, some weird glitchiness in this game right now. Yeah, I'm coming over here where I started for a reason. Because that's where you started. I don't know if sprinting causes you to lose oxygen faster. It might. But, yeah, I'll show you right here. As you see, stuff starts flying out. So you gotta be careful that when you're not in atmosphere. Oh, really? Take the 49, and I'm out of here. Man, all my chests I'm opening up so far are not that great. They are the doll lockers, though. They're, they're not the best. 
Will I make it back before I run out of oxygen? Probably not. Yep, this is before the Hyperion uh, or Helios was finished. The Hyperion moon base is still being built. Wow, I actually made it back before I hit zero. Wow. As you see, when you do a uh, boost, it does take your oxygen down. I never equipped it that second one, though, did I? No. I still got that white one. What the? There we go. Better oxygen. I hate dragons. We can tell. Pick up the uh, last echo and return to springs once upon a time. A dashing vault hunter straight up murdered a beast that had lava for brains. The end. Some publishers are interested, but only if I cut out the parts where people and baby kragans die. I was like, nah. Dandy Snyder, level three. Nice. Let's go check it out. I might replace this pistol, so I'm gonna take this and put it here. Take this and replace it with that. There we go. Actually, let's check this out. Yeah, it's a uh, Malawan. Of course. It has um, elemental, so usually Malawans are always elemental. Alright. There it is. Doesn't do that much damage for a sniper rifle, but hey. It'll do for now. Better than that pistol. That pistol is actually very inaccurate. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. It's about an hour long. That'll be the first episode for the pre-sequel. Check the shop real quick. Any new shields? Anything I care about? Maybe this one? I think it's, was it E to... Yeah. Yeah, it's better than mine. I sold it for some reason. There it is. It's a little bit better than mine. Only 53 to 76 ain't too bad. And only 0.6 reduction on the uh, the cooldown, I guess. So the wait time before it starts recharging. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. We didn't do too much. We well, had the intro going that took up a little portion of it, so I wanted to make it a little longer. And, uh, yeah, all the talking, a little bit of cutscenes going on. But, yeah, there you go. And tomorrow, or in the next episode, we'll be heading on to take on uh, Deadlift. And, and moving on from there. So, um,. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Meerkat Nation today. Let's see if we can grow this channel as much as we possibly can. And if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. And if you didn't, still hit that like button, guys, because it really helps my channel out. And, you know, I always have room for improvement, which I do uh, everything I can to improve every episode. And, um... Next to that subscribe button, you will see a bell icon. When you hit that bell icon after you hit the subscribe button, you'll you'll become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad. When that happens, you'll get notifications for all my videos that I, all my videos that I upload, so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures, the adventures of Papa Meerkat. All right, guys. Well, each and every one of you have an amazing day, and enjoy the adventures that you're on, whatever video games or real life adventures, and. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.